Tonight, I'm going to show you how to make Easter egg truffles. Stick around. Greetings, my confectionery compadres, and welcome to Randy Makes Candy, where I help you make tasty treats that people love to eat. The classic truffle has chocolate ganache for the center and is coated with cocoa powder. Well, I found a recipe for caramelized cacao nibs that I thought might be great as a truffle coating. The nibs would bring the bitterness of the cocoa powder, but the caramelization would add a little sweetness and another layer of flavor. The recipe is on the Spruce Eats website, and there's a link to it down in the description. As always, I'd love to hear about your results if you decide to make your own Easter egg truffles, as well as suggestions for other recipes you'd like to see in future videos. For the coating, I used one quarter cup of granulated sugar, one tablespoon of water, one half tablespoon of light corn syrup, one half cup of cacao nibs, and one half tablespoon of unsalted butter. For the ganache, I used one and a half cups of dark chocolate, two tablespoons of unsalted butter, and one half cup of heavy whipping cream. I also used a small saucepan with a lid, a spatula, a thermometer, a large baking sheet, two sheets of Silpat, a rolling pin, a microwave-safe bowl, some cling film, a scoop, a small spoon, and a cutting board. Okay, let's make some candy. Combine the sugar, water, and corn syrup in a small saucepan over medium heat and stir until it comes to a boil. Cover the pan for a minute or so to wash down the sides. Insert a candy thermometer and cook the syrup without stirring until it reaches 330 degrees Fahrenheit adjusted for altitude. Remove the pan from the heat and stir in the cacao nibs. Add one half tablespoon of butter and stir until it's melted. Spread the mixture onto the lined baking sheet, creating as thin a layer as possible, then leave it on the counter until it's cool. Crush the brittle with a rolling pin or food processor to create a coarse powder. I like the rolling pin. It's a good tricep workout. Place the chocolate, cream, and two tablespoons of butter in a microwave-safe bowl. Microwave it on high in 30 second intervals, stirring after each interval until the chocolate is completely melted. Leave it on the counter for about five minutes, give it a good stir, and press a layer of cling film over the top of the mixture. Let it rest until it comes to room temperature, then place it in the refrigerator for about an hour. Scoop a tablespoon of ganache, roll it into a ball, and place it on a lined cutting board. Repeat with the rest of the ganache, then return it to the refrigerator for about half an hour. Form the ganache into an egg shape, 
Cover it with the caramelized cacao nibs and return it to the lined cutting board. Repeat with the remaining ganache, then leave them in the refrigerator overnight. And that's it! Okay, let's have a taste. Slan Shiva! Now this is a truffle. <laughs> The ganache is smooth and creamy and chocolatey, and the nibs give it a really nice crunch. It's sweet, but the caramelized cacao nibs have just enough bitterness to keep it from being too sweet. If you like traditional truffles, but you want to add a little twist, you really ought to try these. I found a recipe for caramelized cocoa... Nope. <laughs>